uh, hello everybody. Um, it's uh, Triple T. I'm working on fishing stuff today. Um, I, um, it's Sunday uh, here in Boston area, um, and uh, it's a nice day, 42 degrees and sunny uh, outside. I usually don't stay in, um, but I, I just decided to kind of work on my projects today. I've been filing away at this um, this morning, um, the, or, or, or just in the last uh, half hour to an hour, I've been kind of working on this point right here, and I don't know if you can see how I'm coming here, but I'm using this um, file um, and just kind of filing away slowly, trying to you know, just uh, doing that kind of thing, um, seeing, seeing if I can maybe get a, a sharp point back on it. Um, maybe I'm better off buying new hooks, I, and they're probably not that expensive. I, I I thought it would I'd be done by now, and I'm kind of just really getting started. Um, um, anyway, I tend not to like to do this out on the water. I prefer just watching boats going by and birds and that kind of stuff um, while I'm fishing. Um, so anyway, um, let's see. I I told you last um, maybe not last video, one of the videos I was showing you these nails, and I just cut this um, earlier, like an hour ago. Um, in the two spots and then I was trying to file that down but that what I need is like a Dremel motor tool like I used to have a rotary tool and um, anyway um, uh, it's, it's better than it was um, same with this I've kind of filed it so it's sort of not really jagged to the t touch kind of thing um, I used my um, uh, anvil 24 inch chromo um, bolt cutters, 600 millimeter that I bought at Home Depot just uh, over a year ago. I had a problem where um, I, I either lost or I got stolen my keys to my bicycle and I ended up having to cut the locks off and so on. So anyway, um, I lopped these the heads off of these um, um, things earlier today. Um, here's the tip. And I'm basically trying to um, uh, put the tip together. I'm missing the pointy part of the tip. Oh, yeah, here it is right here. So I'm trying to combine these. And it's really low budget. I, I you know, um, I don't have nails. This nail is, was about twice as long, which would be ideal, but I just don't have it. So I'm kind of hoping that... Um, that's going to be long enough. Um, I guess there's only one way to find out is to try it. Um, I bought, um, I'm working on guitar, so I'm combining, kind of working on the big day of um, opening this for its first time. And um, I plan to use it on my guitar, um, actually guitars. I've got um, lots of places on guitars that need it, like on the first opening and so on. And then I'm going to try to like, um, try to get this all done on the first opening of, of the glue to, um, this, uh, goes here and I fit this together earlier and I, I have hope, even though it kind of like split like that, that the super glue will kind of put that back together and, um, maybe I'll wrap it in thread or something like that, but it, um, seems to work this i've got a, at least a long nail for that one despite the fact that it doesn't fit tight that that little short piece fits really tight so that's kind of an advantage and this one is kind of really loose and wobbly i may kind of like try to um, shim that in there with some wood from good, watching guitar repair somebody showed me that you can like shave off like a number two pencil use that wood and shove it into like guitar holes that you're, you're trying to plug or, or whatever. And I, I may use borrow that technique for this. Um, but anyway, you get the idea that that'll go like that. that I've, I've got it probably reversed where these things will probably be in the wider tube and the smooth part will be on the smaller tube. Um, so it'll be kind of like that. And there, that like that. Um, 
to remind you of what, what we're talking about is um, what I'm working on is this rod and reel outfit that I um, cut um, that was sort of visible due to a very low tide. And I, I managed to hook it and catch it and bring it over the rail um, and so forth. The reel, um, it probably hadn't been in the water too long. It was, um, uh, you know, looking pretty good, but it did not work. This reel was like all seized up and um, WD-40 actually um, got that working pretty good. I can't remember exactly what I, I had to do other than kind of spray it here and there and so on, but, um, you know, and, and turn it and, you know, flip the bale over a bunch of times and it came back to life. Um, and uh, so anyway, um, that's about it for, for, this time, um, I was going to, I worked on getting my fishing license today. Um, I wish I would have done that yesterday because I was at the library area and uh, um, have, could have used a bigger computer. I, all I have here is my cell phone and I was trying to do that and I was having to kind of remember my pat, pin password and so I, they emailed me that and then it didn't show up. I was actually going to go fishing today. I came home from church and I was going to get that and run off to go fishing. But then there was a hang up, up on getting my license. So I, I ended up just doing this. Um, um, I, and I'm going to go eat lunch and then go uh, bus because it's go busking, play my ukulele, the tambourine probably um, in the evening. It's um, first day of daylight savings time. Sunday, um, and sun sets at seven tonight instead of six. So I'm going to try to get in like probably like five to seven. Um, my uh, ukulele set or whatever I'm going to do, tambourine set. Um, anyway, uh, fishing regulations. Um, there's kind of a change. They used to differentiate between um, like regular Massachusetts and um, sort of north of Cape Cod and Cape Cod and south. And this time they've kind of like left out this area of Boston. There's, there's like New England area and then it's like Cape Cod and south. And it's like there's a lot you can't do because you're not in either of those regions. You're not in the, the New England um, main region um, and you're not in the Cape Cod South region. And so it looks like you just can't do it. No cod fishing and so on. Or they had kind of a cod window that was like September 6th through September 14th or something like that. Now there's, that's gone away and so on. Um, uh, Opinion. Um, I've had like little discussions with various people on the water's edge, as you maybe know. Maybe I've had conversations with you about my opinions and your opinions and so on. And um, I'm, I'm not big on the, the um, letting go the big fish. I mean, big fish eat little fish. And I think that we would have more fish in our waters if we basically um, just had sort of a limit um, of, of size, like you know, uh, 12 inches for scup or something like that. And if it's bigger than 12 inches, you can take it home and eat it. Um, a striper, if it's, you know, maybe 28 is reasonable. That's what it used to, what it, what it is, I think. Um, yeah, but now they have the, like the maximum 34, I think it is. So it has to be between 28 inches and 34 inches, roughly. It, it, um, it, it check, don't take my exact numbers. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's 28 and I think it's like 34, but um, I, I think that, it, you know, that the world would maybe would be a better place if it, if it was just like a 28 minimum. And if, it, if you can't catch anything over 28, then you're welcome to take it home and go eat it. Um, you would get, you know, say you catch a 55 inch striper, you get it off of the water. It's not eating big fish. It's not eating all the little fish anymore. So you have little fish. I mean, that's the idea between, you know, like letting the go, you know, if the minimum for scup is 12 inches and you catch a six inch one, you let it go. So it kind of like grows up and re reproduces and so on. And then you catch it at 12 inches and maybe it's 13 now and you keep it, eat it and so forth. Um, you get it out of the water so it's not eating all the, the babies, the fly or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, that's my two cents on that issue. Um, there's other ones too, but I think that's kind of the most important. And I see it for cod and striper, I, 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 especially cod. I mean, there's no cod around anymore. And I think that if 
you kind of got rid of all these monster stripers and even monster cods that are eating little cods. Um, you know, the cod population might come back. Also the macro population. I read a book where, I mean, you know, commercial boats used to catch those like by the millions and just like, you know, um, fillet them and can them right on the boats and throw back the remains and so on. And those aren't around anymore. And maybe it's because these giant stripers and cods are eating them all up. So there's like two of those swimming out on the water instead of just jillions and jillions of fish in our fisheries. So that's my two cents. Hope you like this. Please subscribe and like and tell all your friends and so on. Um, have a nice day. Uh, so long.